Super Wood Beast here doing another install today. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to install a capacitor to an existing sound system. Now capacitors are typically used to help with uh, amperage pulls as bass hits. A lot of the time these are popular to add when lights dim, when the bass hits, um, having other troubles with electrical systems. Essentially this is like a mini battery that holds a electric charge that can be used at any time for amplifiers. So today we're going to be installing this capacitor on a Dodge Magnum. Um, we have an existing base amp and four channel amplifier. Um, we've already set ourselves up previously with a distribution block so we can actually tap right into that but in the event you don't have a distribution block um, you can actually go from power wire to the capacitor to the amp and the capacitor kind of being that distribution block. The capacitor itself has a positive and negative um, so we're going to go ahead and get that all set up and show you what that looks like. Capacitor ready to go so our positive here will go to our distribution block which goes to our battery and then our negative here will just be grounded to the chassis of the vehicle. We got our miscellaneous hardware go ahead and check out the unboxing of what this comes with but basically you'll need a couple additional runs of wire. I have this for our positive wire and this for our ground. Uh, our grounding location is actually up underneath here. We'll show you where that's at, but first things first, we're gonna get this thing mounted and all set up. All right, so we got our capacitor mounted. Came with these two mounts. This is the chosen location here. Our positive, negative are here. Our positive goes right here, and our negative will go to our grounding location. So that will be the next portion. All right, next thing here. Let's get power and ground run here. So. At this point, I got our power wire and our distribution lock. And then we got our ground wire. And I ran that down with all our other cabling down to this grounding spot here. It's good ground. So we're at our power and our ground. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put a ring terminal on there, measure everything out, and get our capacitor mounted. Now, before you throw on the positive and negative, the capacitor will be, have to be uh, correctly charged, and we'll be using this resistor supplied with it. Read your instructions, it'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I went ahead and got our capacitor all set up here, got the negative on the negative side of the capacitor. Now, before I put the positive side on, I need to charge it using this resistor. Now our instructions here recommend about four minutes or so through the resistor. So power wire goes on one end, the capacitor goes on the other end. That's kind of seen here in the diagram. We'll charge it up to about six volts. Now I've got a multimeter also kind of hooked up here so I can watch that voltage until it's about ready to be hooked up. Resistor hooked up to the positive, to our positive on the cap. And we are slowly charging as you can see here. We'll let that slowly charge up to about 6 volts. Once it's at 6 volts, we can fully connect the positive on the capacitor. Now, your instructions with your capacitor will give you plenty of info of how to hook this up. Um, in the event you don't have the distribution block like I do in this video, they recommend from your battery to refuse. Then you can hook up your capacitor, get power and ground. And then the power wire goes to the same terminal to your amplifier. So, pretty straightforward. All right, we're just about there. Once we hit six volts, we should be good to go. And then we can disconnect our resistor and actually hook up faster uh, with a full connection. All right, there we go. So, after the charge, I remove the resistor and just screw it on the positive and the negative. Good to go. We're reading about 12 volts with the car off. So at this point, we're going to make sure everything's all tight. We'll put our little cap on and then our mounting straps over the top. All right, all good to go. Car is on, charging at 13.7 volts. Got our mounts on, it's nice and solid. Positive and negative. We'll probably zip tie a little bit of the wire, but we're good to go. If you have any questions about this install, just go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks again for watching the channel, you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.